Hi, I'm Vailatas and in this video I'm going to show you how to start a web design business from branding to finding clients. I'll also share some tools you can use to manage your new business efficiently. Let's start! Since the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen that a lot of activities today are held online, which means that having an online presence is significant for success. Take e-commerce as an example. It is projected to keep growing exponentially over the next few years. Not to mention, a lot of freelancers, job seekers and even business professionals can now get more opportunities by optimizing their online presence. And guess what is the most powerful tool enhancing online presence? A website. This fact implies that the demand for new websites can grow bigger over time, making it an excellent reason to start a web design business. And just like any other online business, you can start small and expand it gradually. It's also a great business idea for those who prefer work that can be done from anywhere. To start a web design business, you don't necessarily need a formal degree, but there are some essential steps to follow. Let's go over each one of them, starting from determining your target audience. As demand for website design services grows, the web design industry will become more saturated with competition. That's why deciding on your niche is the first step to establishing your unique value proposition. You might think that it's better to target everyone, but that might lead to difficulties finding new clients. Having a well-defined niche helps you cut down time identifying qualified leads that are a good fit for you. Unless you have experience building websites for numerous industries and businesses, it's way safer to choose a specific target market. Every person will have their own style and preferences for their websites. So make sure to identify which type of potential client matches your own design style best. Answering questions like, what makes you different? Why are your web designs special? Or what are unique selling points? Can help you find a place in the industry. Instead of saying, I'm offering a web design service, you can present your business more specifically. For example, say, I create beautiful websites with special animation effects for e-commerce. That way, you'll attract the right potential clients and you can sell the service more effectively. Once your business grows bigger, you can start to gradually expand the niche. How do you find a good niche, you ask? Ideally, it is something that you're already passionate about or highly experienced in. Start by looking at your past experiences as a web designer. Which project made you the happiest? Or which industries did you enjoy working in? After that, Think of your strongest skill as a web designer and your mastery of specific tools or content management systems. From there, narrow down an idea of your website design specialty. Maybe you're an expert in WordPress or Adobe Commerce. Both platforms have different features that can help you target the right audience. Or maybe you excel in creating visual design portfolios as opposed to landing pages. These factors can help you determine your niche and create a strong foundation for the services you'll offer. Now that you have a niche, let's move on to determining your web design services. First, research competitors within your niche to see what they're offering. This is a good way to find out what services can be profitable and also excellent for identifying any gaps in the market. For example, if one business or agency provides SEO services as a separate product, consider making it a more affordable add-on with your web design services. Also, keep in mind that you're competing with a lot of beginner-friendly website builder tools that enable people to self-build their own sites. So, consider how you can bring extra value to your clients and highlight the convenience they can get by using your services. When deciding how much you'll charge, consider these platforms and other web designers as your competitors. After identifying their strengths and weaknesses, think about your upselling options carefully. For example, Consider offering a free consultation or a referral bonus to every new client. You can also add comprehensive packages and website maintenance as a part of your web design services. Let's look at a use case scenario. Say you're targeting an audience who wants to create e-commerce websites. That means there are a lot of specific functionalities to add. Try offering an all-in-one package to make your business stand out. It may include branding assistance, web design and development, managed hosting, premium support, payment gateways, and shipping integrations. To find the best formula for bundling your services, consider what your niche and audience find the most valuable. If you can't provide a certain service, consider cooperating with a third party to create a bundling option. Now that you have the two most fundamental elements to run your web design business, let's move on to branding. First, decide on a name. 
If you're starting a business as a solo web designer, you can use your own name as the brand name, especially if you're already recognized within the industry. That said, if your goal is to develop a large-scale business, I recommend creating a new brandable name that will stand the test of time. Some tips for choosing a good business name include making it memorable, easy to pronounce, relevant to your niche, and not similar to other brand names. Test your ideas after coming up with some name options by creating a survey or asking your friends, families, and colleagues for some feedback. Once you've decided on a brand name, don't forget to secure it as soon as possible via a domain registrar. That way, your business website can have the exact domain name as the brand name. After that, design a logo that is unique, looks professional, and is meaningful to your business. I'm sure that as a designer, you must be familiar with this process and what it involves. Take time carrying out this visual identity for your brand before selling your services as a web designer. Then, don't forget to create a brand guideline that consists of your brand's choice of fonts, color palettes, image style, and tone of voice. This helps you stay consistent in all of your marketing platforms, including your landing page and social media profiles. This section is crucial if you want to make your business an official legal entity. Preparing all the legal documents will depend on the type of company you're creating and where you reside. Make sure to conduct the proper research on applicable legal regulations in your region before launching your business. We do not offer legal advice, but some standard requirements to register a business may include licenses and associated fees, taxes, business insurance, and employee benefits. Check your local government's website and official guidelines and follow them carefully to ensure you're in full legal compliance when setting up your business. You may also want to consider getting liability insurance or hiring the services of a business attorney to help get all the legality sorted. With all the essential prep covered, you're now ready to launch your web design business website. Keep in mind that your official website is also your portfolio. So do your best to make the website easy to navigate, to encourage user engagement and drive traffic. Then follow the latest web design trends to show your expertise in the industry. Design a seamless customer journey from the moment visitors first enter your website. A smooth UX can potentially lead to a new contact or even a new client. Create an intuitive interface so that customers know where to click to find what they need. This is also important to ensure visitors stay and browse your website, leading to lower bounce rates and better SEO. To encourage user engagement, you can display social media buttons, gamification widgets, or lead magnets to informative content like video tutorials. Most importantly, showcase your past projects to give potential clients concrete examples of what you can do for their websites. Then. Make your website mobile friendly, as more than 50% of global traffic comes from mobile devices. Because of this, you should also prioritize responsive web design. Before launching the site, make sure to check for errors. Avoid any preventable issues that can lead to customers doubting your ability as a web designer. Something else you can do to ensure a solid first impression is adding client reviews. Once you wrap up a project with a satisfied client, remember to ask them for a testimonial and make sure they consent to being featured on your website as social proof. And lastly, remember to apply the proper SEO strategies on your website to boost its search engine ranking and help you reach for more potential clients. Once you launch your web design business, it's time to find some projects to work on. Since your website may take a while to drive significant traffic, you'll need to be proactive in finding customers and clients. Let's go over the ways to do that. First, reach out to your network or former clients, friends, or relatives. See if they could use your services or ask whether they can provide some referrals. Your existing network can be an excellent pool to find project opportunities. It's a perfect starting point to market your web design business and a great way to build your portfolio. Once you get a project to work on, it's a great chance to start building trust with clients, exceed their expectations, and gather testimonials. Reaching out to your network is also an excellent opportunity to explain why having a well-designed website for business or personal use can be more beneficial than just using social media or selling products on a marketplace. Conducting cold outreach might be a good idea if you've taken the time to research companies or individuals that you think can benefit from your website design services. Whether that's creating a website from scratch or revamping their existing website. Before reaching out through email, phone or social media, ensure that they are qualified leads 
and that you have a solid reason for contacting them. Have a proposal ready and present your unique value proposition. You can even find cold outreach prospects from your community whose problems may be solved by having a well-designed website. For example, there's a restaurant in your neighborhood that offers great food at an affordable prices. But it's really hard to find a table there, and the waiting list system is terrible, so it's frustrating for the customers and the employees. Send a cold outreach email to the restaurant owner and propose a solution for how they can fix the reservation system by having their own website. Then, offer your web design services and make sure to share the link to your portfolio. Social media is a great medium to connect with your target audience. Plus, once a customer is satisfied with your service, there is a chance that they'll provide a positive testimony on their social media profile. Since there are a lot of groups and communities on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, you can also connect with other startup businesses and agency owners. Not only is this great for networking, it's also a great way to find qualified prospects needing your web design services. As a web designer, you understand that content marketing is essential for SEO and helps boost the website's online presence. Publishing high-quality content on your web design portfolio can help potential clients find you. Promoting content that matches your audience's preferences helps them see how you can address their web design pain points. To further capture leads, you can incorporate automated prospecting by utilizing an automated contact form pop-up that appears when a visitor lands on your website. There are various tools out there to help you manage your web design business. Here, I've listed four essential ones you should consider. Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, platforms help you keep track of client information, individual sales, and other client data. Systems like Zoho, HubSpot, and EngageBay are great tools for this. Many of them also offer free subscriptions, making them perfect solutions for smaller companies, startups, or independent service providers like web designers. Accounting tools help you manage your money efficiently in terms of invoicing, payment processing, and general bookkeeping. As a web designer, remember to track every transaction, even if you are running the business alone. Using these accounting tools helps you draw a line between your business expenses and your personal finances. Some accounting tools I recommend are FreshBooks, QuickBooks, and Xero. Time tracking platforms help you see how long it takes to complete individual tasks and entire projects. These tools are excellent for creating a timeline estimation for each of your web design deliverables. Knowing this is also beneficial when you're deciding on your service rates and pricing strategy. If you work with a team, it's also a good idea to enable time tracking to get insights on how long it takes everyone to complete different tasks and phases on your projects. But remember, that you're using these time tracking tools to work more efficiently, not to rush processes. Just make sure that everyone has enough time to complete what's needed, enabling you to create realistic timelines for clients. Some recommended time management tools are Harvest, Rescue Time, and Toggle. Website mockups provide a visual estimation of how a site will look once the web creation process is done. It's the best way to show clients a realistic preview of their completed website. Website mockups don't have to be completely polished or finished, but they need to give clients a clear idea of what to expect. Several programs to create website mockups of your web designs are Sketch, Adobe XD, Envision Studio, Figma, and Whimsical. Be patient. No one becomes a successful web designer overnight. It requires some lengthy processes and hard work. You'll need to be determined to get your name out there and be willing to improve your web design skills every day. There are plenty of resources to help you increase your knowledge and almost an endless amount of materials to build your web design skills. Many of these resources are affordable, while some are even free. However, if you have the budget to spare, we recommend investing in a web design course and getting certified. It's also important to apply the learning by doing approach to grow your technical website development skills. It's completely okay to take on smaller projects like landing pages or simple static websites to start with. Take your time, learn and level up your skill set. Then you can expand to tackle more complex sites later. Also, remember that when you're running your own website design business, you won't be just doing the technical work. You'll also be the salesperson, the marketer, the project manager and the account coordinator. But don't worry. These are skills you'll inevitably learn through the hands-on experience over time. 
So be patient and manage your time well. Create a schedule to avoid burnout and start one project at a time. Then use those projects to expand your network, referrals, and grow your web design portfolio. So that is how you start a web design business. What do you think? Leave your thoughts or questions on starting a web design business in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who think who needs to see this guide. For more videos on website development like this, make sure to subscribe to the Hostinger Academy YouTube channel. Good luck with your web design business and see you in the next video.